This video is brought to you by ERPresearch.com. We offer free online ERP system advice, resources, project templates, and more. Today, we'll be talking about how to build an ERP business case. So this video is perfect if you're trying to build a case for change for a new ERP system and put together your own ERP business case. If you want to speed up the process, then you can also use our free ERP business case template, which is available to download in the description below and which can save you weeks of effort. So first of all, what exactly is an ERP business case? Well, an ERP business case is like any other business case. The point of it is to convince decision makers within your organization that investing in an ERP solution is going to be a good, if not the best, immediate usage of time and funds within your organization. Ultimately, your business executives will want to understand what is the return of investment of an ERP project. So your ERP business case needs to explain to them the return of investment and carefully navigate topics such as risk, change management, business disruption and so on. The first step in building an ERP business case is to start to understand the business drivers that an ERP project needs to solve. To do this we recommend speaking to both internal and external stakeholders to give your ERP business case a broad perspective. Internally, you'll want to speak to key process owners across your key business functions, including finance, supply chain, procurement, sales and operations. Externally, you can speak to suppliers, customers and business partners. When you're having these discussions, you need to build up a SWOT analysis of your current systems landscape and try to quantify the opportunities for improvement as well as the business risks and inefficiencies of your current landscape. The second step is to build up a sense of the costs of purchasing, implementing and supporting a new ERP system for your business case. To do this, you'll need to have a good understanding of the ballpark costs from the different ERP vendors and to create a cost breakdown. We recommend speaking to three or four ERP providers with a proven capability of delivering ERP systems to companies of your profile. To convince your executive board, your ERP business case needs solid return on investment metrics and your project needs to have clear strategies on how these goals will be hit. Your business case will have different KPIs depending on your industry and profile. In your ERP business case it's important to demonstrate how your ERP project will improve these metrics and provide a positive return on investment. To get your ERP business case approved, it also needs to have a plan around risk mitigation and needs to be the clear winner amongst the other alternative options. ERP projects can be risky and can cause significant business disruption. How are you going to ensure that your project doesn't end in failure? You also need to consider what alternatives there are to doing an ERP project. The alternatives could be doing nothing, delaying, outsourcing or integrating multiple separate systems. To ensure your ERP business case is successful, you need to have good arguments as to why an ERP is the only choice. So that's it for today everybody, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe for more ERP videos and content. If you're building your own ERP business case, then check the link in the description to download our free ERP business case template and save yourself weeks of work.